It is said that an orc first learns to wield a hammer in her mother's womb. Oh God, is that how they By come out? <laughs> a mother always teaches her children how to smith. If a chief has a second wife, she is called the forge wife in honor of this. Good Lord, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. They say that if you put your ear up to a pregnant orc's belly, you can hear inside a baby hammering away. And whenever, oh my gosh, the childbirth itself is really like, a, <laughs> it's very powerful and overwhelming. <laughs> you, you see the baby begin to hammer out of, of the vagina. <laughs> It's like the scene from, uh, it's like The Shining. <laughs>
All right. Gar Garak. Every blade I make honors Malakath. Every rivet, every plate of armor is for him. I guess it doesn't matter um, whether or not they thought he was dope because their love of Malakath supersedes their love of Chief Yarmaz. Hey, well, your weapons and armor are impressive. Sorry, I was just having an internal monologue. It is said that an orc first learns to wield a hammer in her mother's womb. Oh, God, is that how they By come out? <laughs> a mother always teaches her children how to smith. If a chief has a second wife, she is called the forge wife in honor of this. Good Lord. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. They say that if you put your ear up to a pregnant orc's belly, you can hear inside a baby hammering away. And whenever, oh, my gosh, the childbirth itself is <laughs> really, like, a <laughs> it's very powerful and overwhelming <laughs> you, you see the baby begin to hammer out of, of the vagina <laughs> it's like the seed from uh it's like the shining <laughs> you know when, when jack nicholson is coming through the through the door with the axe except it's with like a big like blacksmith sledgehammer and it's a little orc baby coming through oh my god orc childbirth is wild man <laughs> Holy shit. You know, we already knew, like, the orcs and all that, at least in Skyrim, are like a tough people, right? <laughs> They're always portrayed as being, like, hardy and tough as shit, tough as nails. But, man, holy shit, the, the hammering is, is some real fucking shit. All right. Hey, Tub. will not soon forget what you have done. We have a second chance thanks to you. The ways of the mystic are known to me. I have remedies and cures. Should you need them? I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. All right, though. then. All right. Let us head over here. Is there anyone else? Oh, God. Was that person yawning or was it a dragon? I think it was... I think it was just that guy yawning. Or maybe the horse. Maybe it was the horse. All right. Let's head inside. Check in with everyone. I will do my best to lead the tribe, but I don't know why Malakath chose me. I don't know, maybe he thought that your shirtless chest was dope as hell. Gular Zob. I am honored to have been chosen to lead, but I know that being picked by Malakath does not mean I am ready. Really? Huh. Your Mars betrayed us all. I will never allow that to happen again, so long as I rule. Really? Okay. Weird. So why did... How did your Mars betray them? Was it because he turned out to be a weak leader? my people. And you that Malakath cursed them? Here, champion of Malakath. Malakath seems like such an a-hole. <laughs> right? Jeez. Here, I'm gonna take this. Alright. Anything else here? Yeah, I totally grabbed most things. I can't believe I forgot that one potion. The days of staying Ugor. within Lagerspur's walls are over. Malakath demands much of us now. We will not fail him again. Wow, I can have her as a friend. Holy shit. Man, you can have two people right. from here who are, for the most part, entirely uninvolved in the quest, right? I don't know. Goals I always prefer, like I've said a million sheep. times before, I prefer the... Be great, but he has much is oh my wise gosh, everyone's years. talking about everyone else's gossip about seriously, and you should as well. But I much prefer the, the companions where you have some sort of storyline, like we were saying with Ilya, where we kind of got to know her and kill her mom and all that good stuff. Yes. <laughs> All right, cool. I think we've spoken with everyone. Let's be on our way. Here we are. All right. Let us take this horse. Jeez, look, once again, this horse is very not keen on being taken. Huh. Here, let's at least track... Ooh, shit, should we take the lexicon over? Fuck, I totally forgot about the lexicon. Maybe we'll do that on our return trip? Yeah, maybe we'll hit up the lexicon on our way back. Okay, great plan. Fantastic plan. Okay. So, let us untrack this thing. Kill Telrav. And there is that little burrow up there, but maybe we'll get that on the return trip. Let's go up and get Telrav, right? And then we can head over to... Ooh, no, let's... Before we get Telrav, let's go to Iverstead and drop off all of the fucking bear pelts to what's her butt Jeez, I really can't get this horse, can I? What if I jump on top of it? No. This horse has some sort of otherworldly power. Get just gonna... Hands off. Oh, shit! 
Oh god. Oh god. Ilya, run! Ilya, run! Oh jeez. Oh my gosh, I feel really bad about that. How does their law work? I don't even know. You know what? Let's let's quick load that, because I'm not sure how how their rule of law even works there, right? Because we can't like pay off the bounty, can we? We're just gonna run out that way. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's go over here. We'll head to the west. Here we are. Good. Yeah, it's not too far. We're fine. Good Lord, we need to find a cooking fire though and cook up all of our, all of our good shit. Cause we've got so many like salmon steaks ready to be served up among other things as well. Picked up some like pheasant, rabbit leg, grabbed that horker meat, all that good shit. Good God. It is beautiful out here. Maybe my favorite zone? I'm not sure. I, I think it is. I think definitely because Riften is like my favorite town. Oh shit, bear zone. But a close second would be the Falkreath area. Yeah, Falkreath area is really cool as well, I think. All right. Let's mess with this bear. No way, is this? Wow, that again! Three times already! When they had Ive in Skyrim. Jeez, he's supposed to be such a cool Easter egg, but we just find him like a million times. Who are these people out here? Jeez. Let's trap this bear. Oh my god! Ilya, you shot an icicle right up their butthole. Alright. Let's get him. Hang on, let's equip our unrelenting force. Good. Are these like Vigilance of Stendar or something? Hey, who are you? Yeah, wow, you guys are. Oh shit. You're gonna drag me? Okay. How do they feel about the orcs then? Huh. Because the orcs are totally worshipping the shit out of Malakath, aren't they? Interesting. Stendar's mercy be upon you, for the vigil has none to spare. Damn, okay. None escape the vigil. Especially how do like she was a Dunmary vigilant of Stendar. How how does that even work out? Because haven't they reverted back to the good Daedra, right? The anticipations. they they now worship them again after the fall of the tribunal? Huh. Very interesting stuff. All right, let us go on over here. I guess she, she just doesn't follow it, right? This is actually a case of the culture being more important, right? Let's see, let's go on over here. Iverstead, yep. You know what, we can just follow our, our map marker, right? Rather than being so Johnny on the spot with <laughs> checking the map every like few seconds, right? There we are. Good, good, good. I do love the, the radar, right? I remember it being such a big teased feature that the radar situation there at the top, the dude dar, really helped with making exploration super duper fun. And like it would tease little lo nearby locations and it would be um, like this great way of getting you to absorb the world in front of you. Like you just glance up at your radar and like, yeah, I'm kind of on the right track. I'm, I'm winging it. We're getting there, slowly but surely, right? Well, you know what? <laughs> Maybe not in that case. Took a wrong turn at ABQ. But, one of the big, oh shit. One of the big problems with big open world games like this is like so often, and I do this all the fucking time, is if there's a mini map, you just look at the mini map. Like, holy shit, whenever I'm playing like Grand Theft Auto or like Red Dead or some shit like that, and I need to pay attention to roads, I'm just looking at the little tiny compass in the bottom corner to make sure I'm like on the right path. Holy shit. Poof! Oh god. Sorry, Ilya. I really fucked up your frost blast. Oh my gosh. Oh fuck. Oh, that was very close. <laughs> okay. Let's apply that. I love just applying their poison directly. Here, we should probably eat. You know, why should we go around with this? 
<laughs> this debuff. Here we are. Jeez, once we get to town, we really need to cook. So badly. Speaking of ABQ. Okay. Right here. There's some sort of interesting little burrow. But you know what? We'll pass on that. Let's sneak on by. Yeah, there's probably no one out there. We're not picking up any dudes on the dude dar, certainly. Oh, shit. There's something here. Another fucking bear! At war with someone as well. Oh, no, it's a troll lord. Look at him jumping around! All right, get him, Ilya. Get him! Shoot his ass! Yes! Very good. God, the icicles are so Oof. fucking comical. Ah! Ow, fuck! He hurts like an ass. There we go. All right, that's her staff that we gave her. That's doing that fire effect, right? Poof! Good shit. Oh my god. It's gonna be sad when that fire ship runs out. <laughs> it's so good. All right. I'm so glad we gave it to her instead of using it myself like a fucking fool. Whoa! This troll was here trying to steal some bird's eggs. He was dancing around real happy. Oh, man. Poor troll. Just trying to eat some fucking scrambled eggs. Shit, look at... <laughs> what are these birds doing? <laughs> There's perfectly good trees here. Why wouldn't you build your nest in a tree? Birds, what has happened? <laughs> this is this is troll zone. The trolls are going to come and eat them all up. Just gobble them up. Poor fucking birds. What a bunch of dudes. All right. Now that over there. Look, wow, there's another ground nest. Are these actually birds' nests? What kind of bird does this? Are these from, like, hag ravens? They're out here. <laughs> Good lord. Maybe that's how it works. <laughs> if they do become bird-like, maybe they start laying eggs. Jeez. That's how it went. Ilya, she didn't want a sort of uh, sibling or anything at all. Especially one from an egg. Good lord. Could you imagine that? <laughs> Jeez, you have to show up to the family reunion? Oh my gosh, there's my my younger brother, Ed. Yeah, that's right. He's a fucking finch. <laughs> God, I hate him. He's always singing and tweeting. <laughs> he's tweeting all the time. He just can't get off of Twitter. Jeez, he's always scrolling. Doom scrolling big time. Jeez, Ed, what are you doing? Get it to fucking gather. Oh, shit. Man, dude, I love traveling the roads. We find so many cool, kooky characters along the way. Who are these people? If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Legion's soldiers gleam like fresh fallen snow and clank like a kitchen. They head this way, we'll know it. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Because they have the shiny ass armor, and look at their. theirs, it's a lot more matte. Even the chainmail isn't very shiny. That's very interesting, right? It, it's very much um, like one of those true-to-life situations where people more accustomed to the area are going to have a better, uh, better odds at fighting in the conditions of a location. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> Fuck me. But yeah, earlier, was that... Um, no, that was not the big castle that we had been to. Oh, wow, there's another bandit castle. <laughs> wow. I can't believe there's two bandit castles in this game? Jeez. What will they think of next? All right. Another fucking battle bear. Can I battle it? Should I battle it? I'm feeling kind of unstoppable. Me and Ilya? We make one hell of a team. We really destroyed the shit out of that. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. Yeah. This one's going to fuck me. This will be my undoing. Oh, jeez. There's something else on the road as well. Something very pissed off, it seems. Oh, I can't jump. Oh, I can't jump. Get it, Ilya. Fuck that bear up. Oh! Oh, jeez. What is over there? Jeez, is that more fucking bears? No, it's spider lords. Okay. Oh, are these the Vigilance again? Holy shit! Yo, the Vigilance are here! Oh my gosh. Bear not tell him about my love of Azura. <laughs> Jeez. I'll just let the bear get me. 
go. Chop that bear butt. Good. We can get this spider lord just as well. Do we have soul gems big enough for him? I think we're running low on gems. Oh, fuck. Oh my god! Can't see Imperials! You know what? We were just talking about their their outfits not being all shiny. No, it's not that shiny. Come on. They aren't that gleaming. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, a Stormcloak soldier. All right. Let's see. Let's apply this. Good. Jeez, everyone is on this road. <laughs> Man, <Imperial laughs> if only those Stormcloaks we just saw earlier turned around, they would be, they would see that dude and be able to free him or something. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's head on out over here. Good, good, good. Let's see. Oh, we've got a fun little wooden cart as well. Shit. Fuck ton of wolves out here fighting something. What are they even fighting? What is this? Oh shit. Oh my god! Help me out here, Francine! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh jeez. We went into like the cinematic view camera. I was like freaking the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> I thought somehow like a wolf had executed me. There we are. Cool. Very good. All right. Man, what is that icon? That's the Deborns icon, right? No, that's... <laughs> no. <laughs> that's the Empire, right? Yeah, jeez. Oh my gosh. Having an off day, I guess. Good lord. Felt sick on, on the Monday. Still kind of got a bit of a stuffy nose, but... Jeez, doing a lot better, but apparently, maybe not. Maybe I'm just fucking <laughs> losing my mind. All right. Let's see. Over here, Iverstead. Head on up to the north. Good, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Despite us checking the, the map every few minutes or so, it still is good because I'm not focused on just the, the compass in the corner, right? So often in games with driving... Right? I don't know about you, but you do it so often, like, I just completely ignore, like, the city or town or whatever in front of me and just focus on the roads in in the compass or whatever. And then, like, glance up every so often just to make sure I'm not, like, ramming into another vehicle. Or sometimes I just ram into them anyway, right? <laughs> Good God. I think it's a real problem. And I think um, some games solve that by having, you know, how there's, like, clairvoyance here and it shows you like some sort of pathing to where you need to go i think a lot of games that solve that is they maybe get rid of the compass have like a radar situation like this but they have the road directions to where you're actually taking in the world saying like oh yeah i need to travel down this path i remember um i think saints row did it was it saints row or maybe i'm thinking of something else just cause i can't recall one of them one of them was, like, my first experience with it, and holy shit, it was so good, and I couldn't believe that, like, the new Grand Theft Auto didn't do it to where it showed, like, in-world displays. I mean, I guess it, it breaks immersion, if that's something you really care for, but yeah, give it a, make it a toggleable, right? Some sort of accessibility option. I would always have that on. Good God. All right, let's look for Temba Widearm. Temba, I've killed, like, five million bears. The war on bears has raged on, and I am at the epicenter. Let's see. Oh shit, where is she? She's not at her mill. There's Narfi over there being naked, screaming and shitting himself. God, I love Iverstead. <laughs> I do I do genuinely like Iverstead. It's such a scenic location, right? Good go good good gourd! Let's see here. Bring up our quest. Alright. Ten bear pelts. Will it show us where she is? I don't know. Maybe not because we don't have all ten of them. Oh, jeez. I mean, we could take ten of them off of Ilya and just hope that we know where the fuck we're... Well, no, because if we take all of them off, we'll have to put them back on her. Right? Let's see in here. Klimek's house. Does Timba even have a house? Or does she just, like, stay at the inn? You would assume she has well, a house. Doesn't she own the, the lumber mill? Get you. Just let me know. 
Bassianus Axius. Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my jo Oh, look, this fucking guy is still here. Is he going to be in this one specific inn forever? Huh. Is it absolutely he might necessary be. for you to bother me right now? Jeez, what a snoot. Let's see. Where is she? Maybe <laughs> I just need to make a, a bear call, right? And then she'll come out just mad as hell. Oh, there she is, right? Isn't this her? Let's see. Oh, it totally Damn is. Bears are driving me crazy. <laughs> okay. Can you Let's turn the lights on. Another pile of logs ruined. I'm right behind you. Let's see. What do you want me to oh, carry? Oh God, she better not be going away. Let's see here. Let's get these 10k bear pelts. Cool. Lead on. Oh fuck! I can't catch her, dude. Oh my God! Oh, it's a race for the ages. Oh my gosh, I can't catch her. <laughs> here. Here, take my shit. Ilya, take Ilya, my shit. I need to go fast. What do you want me to carry? All right. How about you take my chess piece? It's fine. There we go. A shirtless man. I've wrestled all the bears. Look at me. Shirtless and in my little cool loincloth. I've done it. One more thing goes wrong, I'm gonna burn my mill to the ground. <laughs> She's so good. All right. I brought 10 bear pelts, just like you asked. Nice to finally meet someone who can follow simple instructions. Here's your reward, as promised. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to work. Okay. <laughs> Great. Oh, she gave us an iron war axe of embers. That's pretty bad. All right, what's making you so angry? My business is falling apart. My apprentice never listened. Yeah, yeah, I've heard all this. If I had sunk every right, bit of gold enough. I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. Neat. Okay, here, I'll take that I've armor got you back. back. Let's see. Man, what a look on her as well. Jeez. What do you want me to carry? Okay, let's see. Here, I will take that chest piece. Oops. Here we go. Oh shit, I forgot I gave her duplicates of these orcish pieces of armor. Hmm. Okay. I think they're all stolen though, so next time we get to Riften, we'll have to sell it off. Oh shit, I'm still encumbered? How many bear pelts do I got? What do you want me to carry? Let's see here. Oh, it's the axe, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, and we already know it, so if we need to, we can just dump it. I guess we'll hold on to it for the time being. Lead on. It's worth something. All right. Let's see. Let's reacquaint ourselves with the world. So here is Telrav in their, like, horrific little bastard camp. Maybe we need to go over there and fuck them up real quick. I think that's exactly what we do. All right. Telrav, I've got your number, friend. Actually, maybe <laughs> let's wait until it's daylight. That way we can uh, have warmer weather. The worst of it would be Welcome if we went the there at Inn. night. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Yeah, I'd love to have a room, dude. May the gods watch over your battles. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Great. Okay. I'll show you to your room. I don't even right remember which one it is. Oh, it's in here. Yeah, I was about to go inside one of those. Okay, good. Let's go for 12 hours. Well, 11. That way it'll be 8 a.m. There we are. Wonderful. And then we can head over to fuck with Telrav. Right. I think that'll be a good move. Unfortunately, there's like no... The only vendor in Iverstead Let me know is him, if isn't it? Anything else you need. Huh. Free money. Did this like repopulate? I could have sworn I remember taking this money. Maybe that was in in the hidden <laughs> the the one where where we had a grave error. Have you spoken to fast for the end? Let's see. Is there a if I could sweep her away from here tomorrow, I'd do it. But Clement No, there's not. Where can I cook around here? Never settle down to have children. Think twice before you do it. Okay. Maybe it's inside one of their houses. I gotta break in to do cooking, right? Okay, let's do a quick save here. 
And we'll sneak into this house and just cook up a whole bunch of steaks. Shit. Okay. Hopefully they're either all asleep or out at the lumber mill working. Yep, no one in here. Okay, let's cook. Whew, potatoes are flying. Let's see, what else do I need here? Cabbages and leeks. Okay. We can also make this like horker loaf. Hmm. Let's see, someone uh, recommended horker stew. Yeah, which is also good, but you need lavender. Oh shit, I should have taken that lavender. Wait, we might, we may have some. Okay. Yeah, we may have some lavender. Okay, salmon steak. Get all this served up. Amazing rabbit haunch. Good. Okay, Ilya, do you have any lavender on you? I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? Let's see. Ooh, I don't think you do. LMNOP. No. Shit. Let's get going, oh, then. man, we really fucked up by not stealing that... that those orcs lavender supplies. Holy shit, what a grave error. All right. Let's look around in here. Maybe there is some lavender in here. Who knows? Or some green apples to eat. At the very least. There we are. End table filled with a little bit of money. Nords arise! Cabbage. Ooh, there's a leek. Useful. Can take the seared slaughterfish as well. <coughs> and we can just eat that on the spot. Let's see. Seared slaughterfish. Oh, it's only 18 points. Jeez. I always forget that some of these are just like trash garbage okay we should eat the pheasant roast first actually no we should eat the yeah we should eat the pheasant roast first it's slightly heavier good take some garlic and anything else here a bunch of chickens eggs tomatoes I guess I'll take them okay Let's get these eggs here. Good. We'll grab all these alchemy units. Okay. Wonderful. Should I take some potatoes? No, we've got plenty. Let's quickly cook up some veg stew. Or veg soup, even. There we are. Wonderful. And we'll hold on to the horker meat, because all we need is lavender. And that's not too hard to come by. Maybe on our way back from uh, wherever the hell we go... We'll pick some up at Largish Burn. Okay. Cool. Now, let's head on over here to Telrav and wipe them out best we can. Okay. Out over this way. Should we just go, like, off-roading here? I think we should. Okay. Let's see. This little island is not the place, right? Is this- is Telrov even the dude I'm thinking of? Is Telrov someone else? No, it was Telrov, right? Yeah, Telrov is the- the highwayman. Okay. Let's head on over here. We can follow the river, I think, can't we? Uh, kind of. We'll need to cut across at some point. That's fine, though. Okay, it is a bit chilly out today, but I think we'll- we'll manage. Let's cross over here. Because there's, like, a battle bear on that side. Alright. Let that bear mosey on over. Oh, look, here's the... The burrow that we had heard so much about. Ingol's burrow or whatever it was. No, that's the sea ghost, dude. Ing something. Okay. Is it past this? Yes, it is past... This sort of... Ruin. I'm not even sure if that one has an interior. That might be an exterior-only ruin. Alright. Look, there's like an aqua moose here. Having a good-ass time. Bathing. Trying to get struck by lightning. <laughs> okay. Over here. Should we check that thing out? Maybe not. Oh, 
fuck. Oh, dude. Let's get Telrov in on this action, at the very least. <laughs> You'll know my coming when the skies are filled with fire and ice. Let's see. Right over here. Okay. Telrov, I got a fucking surprise for you this time, you asshole. That's right. It's the ultimate dude. The super dragon. Wait. Where'd it go? Oh shit, where'd it go? <laughs> Is it gone now? Was that one not aggroing onto me? Alright, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe the skies aren't filled with fire and ice after all. Oh shit. Boom! Give him the one, two. Need to stop casting Soul Trap. All out of gems, huh? Okay. Down here. Oh, nope, there it is. Yep, it's still here. Okay, great. Wait, tell Rob. <laughs> you went back into your position after I ran away. Of course he would. Of course he would. That just makes sense. Hey, tell Rob. Yes. Good morning. Wait. He's not trying to kill me anymore. But my quest is to kill him? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, he's not doing the act on yes. me. What? So is this going to be murder? <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be... <laughs> it's going to be larceny at the very least. Okay. Should I... Should I just carve into him here? Gosh, I don't want to make it be murder, though. What if I go over here to the bandit zone? Wizards. Now that's power. Hey, Ilya. Were you over here looking at the bandits? Oh, yeah, this is their little tower, huh? If I go over here and kill them, then will they aggro onto me? Actually, maybe these guys won't even try and fight. Oh, yes, they will. Okay. Look, they're still low health. Oh my god, the game remembered. What? How? I can't believe that. Did it actually remember, or did someone just, like, hurt them? Oh, fuck. Oh, my Eastmere. Oh, fuck, that hurt. Ooh, foos, 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 foos. Foos button, foos button, foos button. Why doesn't it work? Oh, my God. Why was my foos button not working? Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> okay, okay. We're fine. So, Telrov does not want to rumble. But his friends totally do. Okay. Let's head on over here. We need to watch out for old Two Hands and McGillicuddy as well. Let's get our Atronach here, readied, prepared for battle. Ilya has somehow warped in with the flanking maneuver. There we are. Cool. Oh shit. Yo, all three of them are two-hander users. <laughs> So even though these are like lower tier banditos, their power is like, oh shit. Do I just not have it equipped? Look, I don't even have shouts anymore. They don't even exist. Where are my shouts? You're as good as I can't shout anymore. I've been silenced. Look at this. Why? You can't change shouts while shouting. I've been shouting the whole time. Oh my gosh, I'm like slow mo shouting. Oh dear God! Yo, this sucks ass! Oh! 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 Poof! There we go. It was some error with sprinting. Something to do with sprinting fucked me. All right, get him, team! Run him through the firewall. Good man. I can't even see in here. It's so fucking toasty. Holy shit, Ilya! Yes, eat butt! Eat butt! There we are. Good. Alright, Telrov. I've done it. I've killed your friends, and now I'm coming back for you. Surely he will want to fight now. Let's see. Telrov, it's time. We need to settle this. You scammed me before, now I'm here to scam your- Please stay away while you got that spell on you. What spell? Please stay away while you got that spell on you. What spell do I have on me? <laughs> what are you talking about?
talking about? I don't have a spell on me. Tell Rav. He doesn't even want to fight me. Here, what if I show him, like, one of his dead friends? Maybe then he'll get so, like, infuriated. He'll just have to fight. <laughs> Here. Boom. Well, you know what? That one's fine, too. Oh, again, nice view of the crotch just as well. <laughs> All right. Here. Let's go say hello to Telrav, Zombo friend. Here we are. Telrav, look at this. Check out my cool undead minion. Yeah, they're undead. That means that they died before. <gasps> oh, is this your old friend? Your old friend bandit friend? Shirtless bandit guy with angry beard? Oh my gosh, it is him, Telrav. You motherfucker, I'm gonna destroy you. Wow, <laughs> 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 Telrav is taking it. Telrav doesn't even want to fight. <laughs> His leg really is hurt this time. Oh, no. We're killing an injured man. Oh, fuck it. Kill him. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, tell Rob. Oh, vengeance was not sweet at all. <laughs> he really was hurt and, like, cast out. Jeez. Tell Rob tried to turn over a new leaf, but <laughs> what can you say? Oh, jeez. All right. I'll take that, I guess. Your orcish bow. All right. Great. Well, we killed that man. Quest complete. <laughs> are we a murderer now? Or are we going to have it? Is it going to happen? Got your back. Let's trade what some you shit. Want me to carry? Let's see here. Orcish bow. Good. You lead, I'll follow. Let's see. Anything good in this? Wow, that dragon sure did just fuck off, right? Sure did seem scary in the moment. I guess it's for the best, because you know what? Now we we don't have to worry about like a three-way battle between myself, bandits, and dragon. Huh? What can you do? Alright. Over here. Got a bunch of steel. Let's see. Ooh. They've got so many barrels. I'll take this. Tomates as well. Cabbages, we need those. Oh shit. Uh-oh. Let's see, what can I ditch? Ooh, we need to get rid of something. We've got this orichalcum ore that I stole. Huh. Oh, here, we've got all of this other shit. Here, I'm right Ilya, take you. my trash. What do you want me to carry? Let's see here. Ilya is so chill about just taking my trash, huh? She doesn't mind at all. Most followers, they seem to complain and fucking hate it, but Ilya? Good lord. You kill someone's mom and they just yeah. love you. <laughs> All right. There we go. You lead, I'll follow. Let's see. Got some seared slaughterfish, but that's like trash garbage. I guess we'll take it, though. We may as well eat some trash garbage food. There we are. Wonderful. And let's check this. I wonder if the reason why it's like trash garbage is because it's not food you can prepare yourself. So therefore, it's like easier to come by. Maybe? Sort of like bread and cheese? Because you can only find bread and cheese in the world, can't you? You can't actually craft it yourself. And I don't think slaughterfish actually drop slaughterfish meat, do they? I don't know. We haven't actually fought one yet, have we? Yeah. Wild. Okay. Cool. They got some goodies here. Mine now. Let's head on up this way check out their fun little tower. Maybe they've got some fantastic woot loot within. Oh shit, there's someone else here. Oh shit, man. I really wish I had a Fusaro Da right now. <laughs> there we are. Where are you at? Jeez, where is this dude? Illy is ready to fuck in a major way. Holy shit. Oh, gosh, you're all the way up here, huh? Okay. Here, dude. Ugh. I kind of want to knock him off the side. Oh, I don't think it's going to happen. Unless... Ooh, come over here, bandit. Ilya! Let him out, let him out, let him out! Let him out, Ilya! Shit, this is going to be tough. Oh, my God, he killed me! 
<laughs> it was very tough. All right. Meanwhile, Ilya just like caught the entire place on fire. <laughs> okay. This dude gonna come over here? Or do I have to meet them? Yeah, I think I have to meet them. Okay. Over here. Wonderful. <laughs> Look at this guy. Shit. <laughs> I like how him blocking while he's standing in like the most blazing inferno I've ever seen. Jeez, not even fucking Oblivion is this hot. What the fuck, Ilya? Jeez. <laughs> the staff is amazing. Thank God her mom didn't really know how to use it, apparently. <laughs> this would have fucked us up so bad. Jeez, because remember what little bit that she did use on us, like, almost obliterated us. Imagine if she just filled the entire arena with, with flame. Fuck. All right. What else is around here? A big sack filled with potatoes. Leather strip, tomates. Tomates, potatoes. More potatoes. You know what? We're getting pretty full up on them. We're just gonna eat those plain. Let's see, wardrobe filled with minor shoes. Some coins, a petty gem. A draft of regen. Let's see, a little sack filled with tomates. I'll take them and eat them. There we are. You know, in real life I find myself enjoying a lot of tomato-based products, but I fucking hate just eating a plain tomato. I, I really don't like the taste of, or maybe it's not even so much the taste, but the texture. It's a texture thing in which I just don't like tomatoes. Like, shit, man, I'll, I'll eat ketchup, like, nonstop. Holy shit. <laughs> that said, it is, it may, it may, maybe it's not so much that I like, to, er, like ketchup, but hate tomatoes, but it's that I hate tomatoes and love salt. <laughs> maybe that's it. <laughs> That's probably, that's probably the answer. <laughs> okay. Let's go over here. Yeah, I think we got it all. Shit. Is there like a little secret area down here? Before we head off? No, because this is where we crossed. Okay. How about underneath this? Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa. Whoa, there's a bunch of people here dead. Some of them, one of them, a bandit, a Breton, and an Imperial. What? Oh my gosh, they dropped them from the top there. Holy hell. Huh. Whoa, a staff of zombies. Oh my gosh, reanimate a weak dead body. What is my current one? Is that also a weak dead body? Let's see here, conjuration. Yeah, weak dead body. Eh, fuck. All right, but we could give it to Ilya. I wonder if she would use it. Huh. Can I foo some off? Poof! Oh shit, just one. And not even that amazingly. Fuck, that sucks. We need to get the Fusro Da in a major way. Alright, well, I suppose when next we come back, maybe we will. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, I think when next we come back, we'll finally ascend the Great Mountain up to High Frothgar. We'll climb the throat of the world. Holy shit, the time has come at long last to finally round out our repertoire of screaming magic, right? All right, now if you'd like to stick around, we will of course be doing a little bit of reading. And what will we be reading this time, but perhaps, oh shit, how about Cats of Skyrim? Why not? <laughs> All right, let's see. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take a quick drink here before we begin the reading. All right, Cats of Skyrim. A report by Adele Tuil. Adele Tui? I've been sent to this frigid wasteland to catalog and study any of its indigenous cats, which has so far been uneventful. After months of wandering, I have so far only encountered some variations of the same basic species. In my travels, I have encountered several Khajiit outcasts from their clans, that have taken up residence in Skyrim. They have been most unhelpful, probably for fear I'd expose their locations. I can't say I'm surprised that there are a few Khajiit here. It's cold and unwelcoming. 
Sabercats are basic. Wow, what a what a change of conversation there. <laughs> Just a complete like jerk shift of a turn. Sabercats are basic giant cats that have evolved two dangerously sharp front teeth. The average saber cat has a reddish brown fur, which it uses to blend into grassy regions. But I have also observed them skulking and sleeping on rocks, so I don't believe the fur is for camouflage. The primary attacks of the saber cat are its biting attack, but it can also briefly rear up to attack with its front claws. I've also seen it pounce forward on its prey in a particularly powerful attack. The snowy version of the saber cat has spotted white fur, which I believe it uses more for stalking than its cousin in the plains. Saber cats aren't in any way related to Khajiit, right? Saber cats aren't a form of Khajiit, are they? I know there's like 50,000 different combinations or versions of Khajiit. You know, there's like the house cat ones. There's the big like lion-like soothe rot or whatever. There's the ones from Morrowind with the freaky legs. I don't think Sabercat is on the list, is it? I feel like they're, they're their own, like, subspecies. The tooth of the cat is rumored to be useful in potions that restore the imbiber's stamina, as well as a potion that will temporarily give a more keen eye for smithing. A skillful hunter can usually salvage the pelts and teeth of their kill, but report that the meat is tasteless and not fit to eat. Really? Huh. Which is wild, because you can eat skeevers. Do skeevers just taste better than saber cats? I guess so. I mean, maybe the excuse is that saber cats are very gamey? But we eat a lot of very... Or meats that I would assume are very gamey. Jeez. Huh. Alright, sure. Yeah, really wild, this, <laughs> this turn here from asking about the Khajiit being like, Yeah, they weren't very helpful. And then, saber cats! <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Well, the cats of Skyrim, a lot shorter than I thought it would be. <laughs> Alright, when next we come back, we head up the mountain. Oh my gosh, maybe we'll head back to Iverstead and rest a bit, because we're getting a little chilly out here, aren't we? Good lord, let's hang out by this fire as well. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. What time of day is it? Yeah, maybe we'll do that, because I'm not sure. I, f I forget how long it'll take us to climb up there. Maybe that'll be for the best if we do a quick sleep and snooze at Iverstead. All right, until next time, please take care of each other.